Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another object competition video but before we get into today's competition guys we need to go over the results of the previous episode's competition so that was the J1407B competition so that was the planet with the largest rings and looking at the votes here it looks like Stuck in 2D took it by storm with 9 votes uh, taking a, a victory so that was his object on the far right here this was his one so i'll see if we want to call it down just have a closer look at it so that's what it looked like underneath so yeah well done to him for taking this victory and if we look in second place we had siren um which was his very fiery object here so yeah that was a good looking object and then uh lastly um in third place we had core with three votes i believe this was their world here i want to say i think that was core's one so yeah there we go there were our top three so again a massive um congrats to uh stuck in 2d for uh taking the victory there and also a massive thank you to everyone who uh submitted an object for this competition but now getting on to today's competition guys let's do this okay everyone so the planet we are going to be doing today as you've probably already seen by the title is proxima b so i believe we may have done one of these quite a while back in one of the old seasons but today we're kind of doing a, a remaster um if we did it before but yeah just a little bit extra information for you so proxima b thank you to stuck in 2d for providing this information as well in discord so yeah proxima b is the closest earth-like exoplanet to the uh, solar system as well as part of the closest exoplanetary system to the solar system remember proxima closest star to the sun so yeah, really cool stuff there. Um, it also has a similar mass to a mass and radius to Earth, but likely does not have a substantial atmosphere or liquid water. Although you can portray an optical scenario for it in your submission if you wish. So yeah, I think some people may have done that as it orbits a flare star, and um, which is a very tight or very um, type of active star, which often has huge storms and coronal mass ejections. So yeah, Proxima uh, Centauri there could be quite a troublemaker if you want to have life around it. But um, yeah, there we go. So. On to the objects, and yeah, we I think we had uh, 10, 10 or 11 submissions today, so yeah, massive thank you to everyone who uh, sent an object in for this, so let's go ahead and search Proxima up, okay, so look at all these, oh, this is cool, right, so, starting off here, who do we go with first, so let's see, it is Core's object, so let's see what Core has prepared for us today, so let's go ahead and place it in, uh, we're on still, pause the simulation as well, okay, there we go, so here is Core's object, okay, cool, right, so here we go, let's have a good look of it. So um, just checking my graphics are on the... Not sure if my graphics are on the highest. Yeah, let's turn them up. There we go. I was wondering there, we're looking a little low. There you go, that's what we want to see. Okay, cool. So your Proxima B, looking good. So as we can see, this one, he's gone with a bit of water um, to fill this one up. It's also got um, a sort of palish, sandy, yellowy atmosphere colour as well. So it's kind of like in, looking like a scorched sort of earth although it's still got some water areas on it. As we can see, size-wise, um, obviously similar to Earth stats, obviously a little larger in this case. So looking good there. Obviously, we can see some more water in the north if we want to have a quick look underneath the atmosphere and stuff. There you go. There's a better look at it. So yeah, there is Core's version of Proxima B. So yeah, there's that one. Okay, cool. Right, next up, let's see. Oh, is it going to do this again? Well, we have to keep searching it every single time. Right, okay. So we have Proxima. Okay, so next up we have got Mad Planet, guys. Proxima. Let's go ahead and place his one in here. Okay, cool. So here it is. Looking good. It looks like he's gone with a tidally locked setup. Yeah, that's definitely a tidally locked one. So let's just turn it uh, in the sort of correct area. So there you go. So obviously the side facing the star. Obviously it's always going to be light and no uh, ice or anything. But obviously if you have the tidally locked side, all of the ice and stuff will build up on the other side. So obviously the front side will be a lot hotter. So there you go. We've got the sort of twilight zone in the middle. And then you've obviously got the uh, frozen part behind it. So yeah, there we go. Looking good there. Mad Planet, guys. It looks like he's got like a custom texture with craters and stuff on it as well. Looking good there. Excellent. Okay, so there's Mad Planet, guys. One. Right, next up. This is very annoying how we have to keep doing this every single time. So Proxima again. Okay, next up we have got Train's object here. So I believe he's a new um, new to the object competition, so welcome to the party. Right, so here is Train's version of Proxima B. So as we can see, this one's gone with a very red atmosphere, looking good. Obviously got some polar area, polar cap areas on it, but also going with the barren sort of theme. Obviously no liquid water on the surface here. So there you go, what do you think of that? Definitely looks very barren and wasteland-y, doesn't it? Obviously the atmosphere does look pretty cool and with it as well. So yeah, definitely not... Um, the number one Earth-like planet out there, definitely. So there it is, looking good. Okay, next up, again, we're gonna have to keep searching it. <laughs> oh dearie me. Right, so we have done trains. Next up, we've got um, uh, Watney, hope I'm saying your name right there. 
So let's go ahead and uh, place their object in here. Oh, okay, so this one's gone with a completely different sort of design. So we can see a more yellowish atmosphere. So we can see a trend at some of these two of them so far. I've got these yellowy colored atmospheres. It's got obviously golden sort of yellow clouds. Let's turn off the labels. So golden sort of yellowy clouds on there. We can see it's obviously all frozen on the surface as well. Looking good. And I'll see them, yeah, completely all frozen up. Okay, cool. So there is his object there. So looking good. Very nice indeed. Uh, okay, so um, again, Proxima. Right, so next up we have got Total Anarchy's version of Proxima B. So let's go ahead and place it in here. Okay, oh, it looks like he's also gone with the tidy lock sort of theme uh, like Mad Planet Guy has. So let's uh, just turn it to the correct sort of side. Okay, so something like that. So this one's looking pretty exotic. We can see a bit of green sort of shades in there. Obviously very, very frozen up though. So yeah, got also got a tidy lock sort of theme going on it, like Mad Planet guys on there. So yeah, pretty cool. Again, going with that reddish orange. So everyone's going with like the red, orange, yellow sort of atmospheres for this so far. So pretty interesting factor there. So there it is. Quite a nice looking world. I really do like the amount of water just spread it out across the surface. So it's quite a nice visual one to look at there. So there's Total Anarchy's one. Okay, next up we have got. Okay, so this is um, Exiled Neptunians. Uh, Proxima B. So let's see what they're prepared for us here. Okay. Ooh, okay. Right. So, as we can see, very, very cloudy compared to the other objects here. I don't know if he's like enhanced the clouds up on it, but yeah, looking good. Right. Underneath it, there you go. So, obviously, very rocky. Obviously, got some oceans going on it as well. So, we've got kind of mixtures between the two theories so far for this object where there's a theory it may have water, there's a theory it doesn't have water. So, we kind of got the two sort of theories. I believe the one without water is the more believed one. For this but i'm not exactly sure on that so i'm sure what you guys will let us know in the comments about that but yeah there we go so there is exiled neptunians proxima b so yeah a lot more cloudy uh, probably the most earth-like looking one out of them all i mean if we compare them all it's got white clouds obviously the blue oceans and yeah i'd say that's probably the most earth-like looking object so far out of them all okay right next up we have got so we've done um exiled neptunians so next up we have who's this one uh, Pluto Neon. Okay, so here is his object. So let's go get that spawned in. Ooh. Ooh, I like the colour theme on that. Ooh, yeah, look. You can see it's got like these dark, fallen like areas. Kind of like Pluto actually has um, on there. Obviously, that uh, light sort of pale cyan blue sort of frozen area here. Oh, yeah. Oh, whoa, look at the clouds. <laughs> hey, look at that. Um, but yeah, that's, um, that's a good looking world, I have to say. I do like it. It's plain, simple, and I do like those dark red fallen like areas there. They do look really cool. So there is Pluto Neon's one. Looking good. Okay, next up we have got um, Vlad de Zeus. I hope I'm saying your name right. Apologies if I have completely scrapped that. But yeah, here is their object. Let's get this one placed in. Cool, cool. So here we go. So again, another frozen world. Again, going with that yellowy orange atmosphere trend that we've seen. So obviously all frozen up and a bit of water on it, as we can see. But yeah, mostly frozen. Looking at it, there's only a tiny bit in the north there. It looks like it's liquid water. So yeah, another frozen-like object. So we can see a trend. All the objects have pretty much got ice in one way or another on them. So there we go. Okay, next up, we have got... Let's see here. So we did the... Um, yeah, so next up we got Sirens one here. So let's see what they have prepared for us today. Okay, ooh, hey, look at this one. Okay, so this one's got a slightly modded-like atmosphere going on. It looks like it's got some negative contrast. It does look a little weird when you turn it around at night time. I'm liking it, okay. Again, with the yellowy, orangey atmosphere colours. So we can see the trend is very popular between everyone. Uh, let's have a look underneath the clouds and stuff. So there it is. Ooh, okay, that's an interesting surface. What is going on under there? It's almost got like a pinkish purple shade going on. Very interesting indeed. What do you think of that? Okay, cool. So there we go. Looking good indeed there. Okay, next up. So let's uh, search it up again. All right, next up. So we've done um, Sirens once. So next up, we've got Stuck in 2D. So our previous winner. Okay. And he actually sent in two copies um, of his object here. So he said um, he's done a water, uh, water world theory. And then he's also done the Baron World. But I believe he is submitting the Water World uh, version for the competition. But he's also shared the Baron one um, with us as well. So, okay. So, um, let's go ahead and place it in. So, this is his uh, Water World version. Oh, that does look good. Very cloudy. But look at that. Okay. So, he said for this object, to give us a bit of a description, this is the optimistic Water World theory for Proxima B. Notice there is no ice exposed 
uh, surface due to freezing or evaporation. This is because the surface temperature is more insulated evenly spread across the planet due to the thick cloud decks on it, which are theorised to form over tidally locked water worlds due to extreme differentials of evaporation on the day side. Okay, cool, cool. The atmosphere is blue like Earth's because of the ray light scattering. I recommend looking at this under the light of Proxima Centauri. Okay, right, yeah, we'll definitely do that. So this is the water world theory that he's made for us here. I really like the clouds on it. Let's have a look underneath. So... Uh, clouds off. Oh, oh, and then atmosphere off. So it's a full-on water world. Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay, it's a full-on water world, atmosphere, clouds. Really, really like the clouds on that. That is a good-looking object. Um, so, yeah, let's also see the alternative version. So, um, Proxima. So we have this one. Okay, so this is his version. So please keep in mind, you can't vote for this one. If you vote in for Stuck in 2D, you have to vote for this object. This one is just one to him to show off. So this is the Baron version. So um, not to be voted on, this is just for the comparison. It is my Baron variant of the planet. It still has heavy oxidation um, when it has um, large amounts of water or oxygen on the surface because that and the atmosphere were both stripped away. You can see um, silt basins and such where water once resided, even some canyons. Um, from the end of the days of water here. Okay, yeah, there you go. You can see all that um, bits and bobs on the surface there. Okay. And then um, let's actually spawn in Proxima because he did say to spawn it in. So let's just put a Proxima, I don't know, just a fair distance away. So there you go. So all the objects get lit up by Proxima now. So he said to look at it under the Proxima light. Okay, so there you go. So the bluish haze is more of a, a, a pale white haze now on Proxima. So this is the uh, planets all under the actual star they would be orbiting. So this is how they would actually look with the starlight. So there's a, just a good look at them all there. Okay, cool. So yeah, there's the water world, and then there's the Baron variant there. So remember, you can't vote on this one, so we'll just put that um, to one side. Right, and then lastly, I think we had one more, which was this one. No, no, I think that was all of them. Okay, cool. So, yeah. Okay, so we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we had 10 different versions of Proxima today. And then obviously we had the 11th version, which you can't vote on. So yeah, 10 different people were submitted for this. Yeah, massive thank you to everyone indeed. And yeah, I've got to say, this is... I, I, honestly, I can't pick which is the coolest out of these. Honestly, I'm stuck. So I'd be very interested to see how the votes go um, for this one, I have to say. But yeah, there's the full lineup of all of the objects. So again, we'll go through them once more. And we'll keep the object menu open this time, just so we can uh, don't have to keep searching it every single time. Okay, so remember the first object here. This was Core's object. So Proxima B, right there. So there was Core's object there under the uh, actual starlight. So we can see got the uh, orangey, hazy atmosphere on it there. Okay, so there's that one. Next up, we had Mad Planet Guys one, which was the next planet along. So let's just go ahead and move using the D key on the keyboard there. So that was Mad Planet Guys one. So as we can see, this one had the... Um, oh, we can't scroll around anymore. But yeah, this one had the uh, tidally locked effect, as you can see behind it. You can see all the frozen bit there. So that was cool. It also a custom surface texture on it as well. Uh, next up, we had Train's object here. So this was the very barren looking world here. It's obviously got a polar cap in the north and south as well. So there was his object. Then we had this one, which was uh, Watney's one. Hope I'm saying your name right there. So here is his one. Oh, I didn't want to spawn an earth in there. Ignore that. So yeah, there was his one. So yeah, that one had the nice sort of yellowy shade on it. The golden clouds looking pretty good there as well. Next up was this object here. This was Total Anarchy's one. This was the one with like the nice greenish shade also going with that sort of tidy locked theme of having only a bit of it uh, melted. The rest of it was all frozen up. Next up was ne Exiled Neptunian's world here. This is the one with those really crazy looking clouds and probably one of the most Earth-like looking of them all. Probably that one or Stuck in 2D's one actually. So yeah, that was a very Earth-like looking one with a very, I really like the cloud on it. So there was that one. Then we have Pluto Neon's one next, which was the one with like the fallins, the dark sort of reddish brownish areas looking really, really cool there. So that was Pluto Neon's. Next up was um, Vlad Azus. I hope I'm saying your name right. So this is also one that's very frozen up again, going with that orangey atmosphere theme on it there. Then we had Siren's object here, which had the um, pretty um, cool glow on it when we rotated the camera around. Also going with the yellowy um, orangey atmosphere on it. Then we had, lastly, yeah, it was stuck in 2D's Water World variant of Proxima B there. So, 
yeah, there we go. That is the full lineup for Proxima B, guys. So what do you think of that? Honestly, a really interesting competition. If you want to have a quick look behind them all. So there was Siren's Glow again behind it. Pretty cool. They look really awesome behind with the Proxima Centauri light as well. Obviously, if you want to have a look, let's get rid of that Earth as well. If you want to have a look behind Mad Planet Guys one again, for instance, that was one with a tidally locked effect as well. Also, um, it was this one. Yeah, that was a tidally locked effect there. So, yeah, there we go, guys. That is the full lineup. Um, of Proxima Centauri. Um, so let's um, just get delete that one there. Okay, so there's our lineup. What do you guys think of that? So yeah, there we are. Um, let me know which one do you think was the best by voting in our um, vote area on the Discord server. So yeah, if you'd like to take part in the voting for this competition, make sure to join my Discord server. Link in the description. And then yeah, all you need to do to vote is add a reaction to who uh, whose name you want to vote for. Remember, you can only vote for one person. If you vote for more than one, all your votes will be removed because there'll be no point voting at all if you vote for all of them. So yeah, please keep that in mind. You can only vote for one. And yeah, I really hope um, all you guys have enjoyed this one. I've got to say, this is probably one of the best competitions for of all time, honestly. I think there's some really, really cool objects in here. So I'm very interested to see who comes out on top here. And yeah, a massive thank you to everyone who has submitted um, for this competition. And good luck to everyone who has uh, submitted for this competition. Because I think we've got a really interesting competition on our hands here. It could be close. Maybe it won't be. Who knows? So yeah, good luck to um, everyone again. And yeah, guys, make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there. Good luck again, guys. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.